heart of one of the world's greatest wonders, where time has etched its story in every crevice, something unimaginable has emerged. The majestic Grand Canyon bathed in the golden hues of the setting sun, casting long shadows over its ancient rock formations. A faint breeze carries the whispers of the canyon's secrets, setting the stage for an extraordinary revelation. What secrets could possibly be lurking beneath the Grand Canyon's iconic landscape? Are we on the brink of uncovering a hidden chapter in Earth's history? Join us on this journey that transcends the ordinary as we unveil what just emerged at the Grand Canyon, leaving us all utterly shocked. For countless ages, the Grand Canyon has held profound significance as a sacred space for various Native American tribes. Across centuries, 11 distinct indigenous communities, including the Havasupai, Hopi, Paiute, Navajo, and Zuni people, have not only visited, but also called the Grand Canyon and its surroundings their home. To these tribes, the Grand Canyon transcends its identity as a mere national park. It is an integral part of their creation narratives and religious convictions. Take the Havasupai, for instance, who have forged a connection with the canyon spanning centuries. For them, it is more than a breathtaking landscape. It serves as a symbolic gateway leading to either heaven or hell. The Havasupai understanding of heaven and hell diverges from the conventional Judeo-Christian interpretation. In their belief system, Heaven represents an everlasting realm of joy and harmony, where individuals coexist peacefully with one another and nature. On the flip side, their concept of hell paints a vivid picture of a place marked by intense suffering and disciplinary measures, serving as a destination for the wicked to atone for their transgressions. According to Havasupai beliefs, the journey of the departed souls entails passing through the Grand Canyon to reach their ultimate destination. This spiritual passage through the canyon holds immense importance in their worldview, underscoring the profound connection between their earthly existence and the realms beyond. For the tribe, the Grand Canyon isn't just a place on the map. It's a sacred space where the threads of the past and present weave together. The geological wonders and breathtaking views of the canyon aren't just pretty sights. They hold a profound significance in the tribe's beliefs and traditions, shaping their cultural identity. Millions of years ago, around five million to be precise, a natural dam filled with sediment formed a lake in what we now call Northern Arizona. As this lake slowly drained, the mighty Colorado River got to work, slicing through the rock and creating the majestic canyon that captivates us today. Erosion powerful force of nature played the starring role in this geological drama. It's the sculptor who can turn rocks into breathtaking landscapes, creating wonders that stand the test of time. It's not just erosion that shaped the Grand Canyon. Wind and water also took center stage. Together, they choreographed a dance that resulted in the intricate network of canyons, gullies, and other features that make the Grand Canyon an amazing hang of nature's artistry. Over countless years, the magnificent forces of nature have meticulously crafted a place of unparalleled beauty and intricate complexity, a genuine proof of the awe-inspiring might of the natural world. It is widely accepted that all of these marvels unfolded long before the arrival of humans in the region, suggesting that every facet was meticulously guided by the hand of nature itself. However, what if this long-held belief were not entirely accurate? While we have long held a fairly solid understanding of when humans first made their appearance on the world stage, recent discoveries have cast a fascinating new light on our historical narrative. Remarkably, footprints unearthed at White Sands National Park hint at the possibility that humans might have inhabited America far earlier than previously presumed. This revelation is nothing short of monumental, as it challenges the conventional timeline and suggests that humans may have been dwelling in this region as far back as 23,000 years ago. This seemingly minor yet profoundly significant detail has the potential to reshape our entire comprehension of human history. Interestingly, 
Some scholars assume that these ancient footprints might serve as tangible evidence of the earliest humans to venture into the New World. If proven true, it implies that our presence in this vast land extends much further into the past than we could have ever envisioned. This singular revelation has the power to unravel and redefine everything we thought we knew about our own collective journey through time. This groundbreaking discovery has sent shockwaves through the archaeological community. While it doesn't conclusively prove early human existence in the Americas, it's like adding a major boost to an already fiery debate. One researcher, Cyprian Ardeline, believes humans could have been in North America a whopping 30,000 years ago. He even dubbed this find the Holy Grail of Anthropology and Archaeology, and it's easy to understand why. Imagine stumbling upon footprints in the White Sands National Park that rewrite the history books. These footprints are a game changer, providing tangible evidence of human presence much earlier than we ever thought possible. The impressive natural wonder might not just be a recent phenomenon, it could have a mind-boggling billion-year history. Delving deeper into this mystery, scientists employed a fancy technique called thermochronology, tracking the history of heat and rock. What they uncovered was nothing short of mind-blowing. First, they gathered rock samples from various parts of the canyon, opening a door to over a billion years of hidden history. In the depths of the Grand Canyon, a captivating geological story unfolds as scientists unravel the mysteries of its western and eastern halves. Shockingly, these two segments may have undergone distinct geological transformations throughout the ages. The key to this secret lies in the ancient breakup of a colossal landmass known as Rodinia, a geological saga that commenced a staggering 700 million years ago. As the researchers delved into the depths of time, they inferred that the fragmentation of Rodinia left an indelible mark on the Grand Canyon, shaping its topography in unique and varied ways. The creation of the Great Unconformity is a perplexing gap in the Earth's rock record that has confounded geologists for years. This interesting geological anomaly is not confined to the Grand Canyon alone. It spans the globe, manifesting itself prominently at the canyon's base. 500 million year old Paleozoic Tapietz sandstone boldly rests atop 1.4 to 1.8 billion year old Proterozoic Vishnu schist, forming a striking visual representation of the Earth's ancient chronicles. The intrepid researchers from the University of Colorado Boulder have tirelessly toiled to unravel this geological riddle. In a recent publication in the esteemed journal Geology, their groundbreaking study proposes a compelling solution to the missing time period in the Earth's geological history. A series of groundbreaking events during the Rodinian breakup shook the very foundations of the Earth. These earthquakes, with their mighty force, likely washed away rocks and sediments into the ocean depths, carving the distinct gap that captivates our curiosity today. The Grand Canyon, once a witness to the breakup of Rodinia, now stands as a geological masterpiece, its intricate layers revealing the Earth's ancient secrets. Barra Peak, the lead author, describes the Grand Canyon as a captivating history lesson. The latest study on this natural wonder brings us closer to unraveling the intricate events that shaped our planet and its diverse inhabitants. G.E. Kincaid, an explorer whose passion for the canyon was unparalleled, Devastated by the news of its impending closure to visitors, Kincaid didn't succumb to despair. Instead, he embarked on a thrilling adventure, deciding to bid farewell to the Grand Canyon with a final boat ride down the majestic Colorado River. As Kincaid navigated the river, his initial goal was to uncover precious minerals like gold, silver, and copper concealed within the canyon's depths. Little did he realize that destiny had far more exciting surprises in store for him. After sailing approximately 40 miles, an observant adventurer noticed something quite unusual. Mysterious marks and peculiar stains adorned the sediment formation, towering over an impressive 2,000 feet. This spectacle was entirely unfamiliar to him within the surrounding area. 
Naturally, Kincaid's concern was aroused, prompting him to embark on an investigation. Despite the absence of any established trail, he bravely disembarked from his boat and set out on foot. As he trekked the area, an extraordinary revelation awaited him. To his amazement, he stumbled upon a remarkable find. These steps ascended towards a lofty shelf on the canyon side. Even more amazing was the fact that these steps led to a clearly man-made entrance. The entrance unveiled a concealed passage adorned with ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. Kincaid, understandably, was left dumbfounded. Given that there had never been any historical evidence of ancient Egyptian presence in that part of the canyon, questions arose. How could hieroglyphics exist there, and what purpose did this hidden passage serve? The mystery deepened, leaving Kincaid and anyone who hears this story utterly interested. Just like anyone in his shoes, he couldn't contain his excitement. With his trusty flashlight in hand, he ventured into the mysterious tunnel, its dark depths waiting to reveal their secrets. As he progressed, the passage seemed to extend endlessly into the unknown. Kincaid sensed that this was merely the tip of the iceberg, the start of a grand revelation. Delving further, Kincaid was surprised by what met his eyes. The tunnel unveiled a world frozen in time, adorned with complex carvings, ancient artifacts, and treasures that had weathered the centuries. It felt like he had taken a leap into the past, a journey through history itself. The magnitude of his discovery hit him as he navigated deeper into the hidden passage. Kincaid was determined to unravel the mysteries concealed within its depths. As Joe Rogan discussed in a recent podcast, long before the Grand Canyon became a widely known marvel, there existed a secret world beneath its surface. Kincaid, in his exploration, stumbled upon an entire underground city, hidden from the knowledge of the outside world for centuries. The main passageway revealed itself as a substantial 12 feet wide, leading to rooms that stretched as large as 30 by 40 feet square. However, the true marvel lay not just in the dimensions, but in the thickness of the walls, measuring an impressive three feet and six inches. Kincaid found himself standing amidst a breathtaking engineering marvel, a feat so astonishing that it left him utterly confused. The mere thought of how such a construction came into existence escaped his understanding. As he delved deeper into this remarkable place, Kincaid stumbled upon numerous granaries containing shells, some still cradling seeds. Additionally, there were cooking areas and a huge dining hall that further heightened the amazing nature of the discovery. Recognizing the profound significance of his discovery, Kincaid decided to name this extraordinary place the Citadel. Eager to unveil its secrets, he reached out to the Smithsonian, seeking both financial and logistical support. The Smithsonian, captivated by the potential of this find, readily agreed. Soon enough, Professor S.A. Jordan and a team of 40 scientists, researchers, and laborers were en route to join Kincaid in the excavation and exploration of this mysterious underground wonder. The complex design of the cave system hinted at a thoughtful and deliberate layout, challenging the idea that it was a mere collection of random rooms and tunnels. Instead, it resembled a carefully planned city, serving a specific purpose. Over the course of centuries, the Citadel had been home to thousands of individuals. The mystery of who these people were, and what ultimately transpired within its bounds, added an extra layer of interest to the story. What truly captivated the imagination was the advanced nature of the civilization that once inhabited the Citadel. It surpassed the sophistication of the native tribes that had occupied the surrounding area for millennia. The secret deepened as it became apparent that this ancient society, with its advanced knowledge and skills, was not indigenous to the region. Surprisingly, the evidence discovered supported these wild hypotheses. The artifacts unearthed within the Citadel surpassed the typical level of advancement seen in the surrounding area, pointing to a civilization with skills and technology beyond the standard. Among the artifacts, a prevailing theme emerged, suggesting that the Citadel might have functioned as a warrior's barracks. 
the mysteries surrounding the origins and fate of this advanced civilization continued to unfold, captivating the minds of those seeking to unravel the secrets buried within the ancient cave system. Kincaid and Professor Jordan, captivated by the mysteries within the cave system, diligently packed boxes filled with artifacts and detailed research notes. Eager to delve deeper into the secrets of the ancient civilization, they sent these treasures to the Smithsonian Institute, hoping to solidify their hypothesis. Yet their thirst for knowledge remained unquenched. Desiring continued exploration, they reached out to the Smithsonian once more, requesting additional resources and a larger team to aid their research. Despite believing they were on the same page, their plea was met with rejection. Disheartened by the lack of support, Kincaid and Jordan found themselves in a perplexing situation. In an unexpected twist, they vanished without a trace, leaving behind a void of information. Their disappearance left their workers bewildered. As if the mystery wasn't deep enough, the government intervened, declaring the area off-limits to everyone. The extent of these efforts to conceal information raised eyebrows. It seemed like a significant endeavor for individuals who supposedly had nothing to hide. Across the globe, legends and rumors started circulating, suggesting that hidden truths were scattered among the whispers of legend. Consider the story of enormous skeletons scattered across the western United States. While it might sound like a plot from a futuristic story, there are credible accounts suggesting these massive remains are not mere fiction. The Pueblo cultures in the region even have their own folklore about otherworldly beings. As archaeologists delved into excavations in America's Midwest, specifically in Oklahoma, they stumbled upon something truly remarkable. These mounds were unlike anything discovered in Europe during that period. It wasn't just the sophisticated architecture and artifacts that amazed them, but the extraordinary size of the skeletons unearthed. Some skeletons reportedly reached heights of seven or eight feet, towering over the average person today. Just as with the mystery of the Grand Canyon, the Smithsonian Institution was supposedly summoned to examine these findings. However, when it comes to the Smithsonian and peculiar discoveries, things tend to take an unexpected turn. Some argue that the giant skeletons were indeed sent to the Smithsonian for further examination. Imagine stumbling upon a hidden cave system, only to discover that it's not just a random assortment of rooms and tunnels. The Citadel, as it came to be known, was once home to thousands of people for possibly hundreds or even thousands of years. The mystery unfolds. Who were these inhabitants and what happened to them? Delve into the fascinating history and we'll find that the civilization that crafted the Citadel was incredibly advanced and sophisticated compared to the native tribes in the region. This wasn't just an advanced tribe from the area. The evidence, including highly advanced artifacts, seems to support these interesting speculations. The Citadel, it turns out, may have been more than just a dwelling. Some stories speak of giant skeletons, though there's skepticism and debate over their existence. Some believe that evidence of these giants has been intentionally suppressed, raising questions about hidden truths or mythical tales. In 1909, the Arizona Gazette added another layer of mystery by proposing a shocking theory. What if Egyptians crossed the vast Pacific Ocean and made the Grand Canyon their home? The article claimed that evidence found in a mysterious cavern, possibly dating back to Ramses, supported this audacious idea. It's not our everyday news, and the article sparked widespread interest and discussion. The fascination of the possibility that ancient Egyptians might have journeyed to America, establishing a camp in one of the world's most breathtaking natural wonders, the Grand Canyon. Not long after this idea became widespread, it mysteriously vanished. People claimed that such an event never occurred, and the information seemed to vanish into thin air. This left individuals worldwide confused and unsure about what to believe, adding an interesting layer to the narrative. It aligns seamlessly with the idea of constructing the subterranean city discovered centuries later. To validate the authenticity of the claims, one crucial factor would be the bodies of the inhabitants in these regions. Interestingly, 
G.E. Kincaid stumbled upon mummies as he delved deeper into the caves. Numerous, well-preserved ones adorned with cloth, surrounded by copper trinkets and bark. This discovery strongly suggested that a significant effort had gone into examining the evidence. Kincaid promptly shared his findings with the Smithsonian. Initially receptive to unraveling the mysteries, the Smithsonian later backtracked, asserting that there were never any mummies to begin with. This led to suspicions of cover-ups, prompting individual explorers to take matters into their own hands, determined to uncover the truth behind the unfolding secret. Back in the late 1990s, a couple named Jerry and Kathy Wills embarked on a quest to validate the interesting claims made by Kincaid about the existence of ancient Egyptians in the Grand Canyon. Over the course of three years, they delved into the expansive terrain, tirelessly conducting thorough research in their pursuit of evidence for this historical mystery. Their journey led them to the discovery of what seemed to be the entrance to an underground city, a hidden marvel that had eluded seekers for centuries. However, a daunting challenge presented itself. The entrance was situated nearly 1,500 feet down the sheer walls of the canyon, a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Undeterred, the Wills persisted in their exploration and stumbled upon a ventilation tunnel that held the potential to unveil the secrets of the hidden city. Yet, their excitement was met with frustration as they encountered cement blocks obstructing their path. Adding to the intrigue, peculiar platforms equipped with mountaineering gear were scattered in the vicinity, sparking suspicions that the government might be intentionally hindering access to the underground city. Despite the government's denial of any knowledge regarding an underground city in the Grand Canyon and their prohibition of exploration and mapping in the area, intrepid adventurers continued to brave the challenges, driven by an unwavering determination to unravel the truth concealed beneath the rugged landscapes. Venturing into this region poses significant risks. The landscape is filled with danger, featuring precarious crevices and narrow passageways that could easily result in harm or even death. While the government asserts that it intends to shield individuals from these hazards, doubt abounds, suggesting hidden motives. Opinions on the matter are divided down the middle. Some dismiss any connections between the mummies and the Egyptians, while others adamantly believe in deliberate concealment, viewing it as an undeniable cover-up. Numerous findings strongly indicate the historical involvement of ancient Egyptians in the Grand Canyon, but compelling evidence has long been suppressed by those in positions of authority. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.